Hello, I'm Srijana, intuitive medium, healer, and author. I'm speaking to you today from Bali. Humanity is at a crossroads. The system is broken. To accept fear and go with the flow is no longer the best choice. The path of least resistance is now the enemy of life itself. Instead of looking outside and fixing blame, we can change perspective and look inside. We can overcome our own karmic habit of spineless acceptance in the myriad delusions of the world. The iron law of cause and effect now requires that we embrace each other with love and step into a new level of individual discernment, discipline, and responsibility to defend our DNA health and our destiny. The battlefield, my friends, is our bodies and our minds. Our challenge is to become the rulers of our own minds and to be free. When staying the same is no longer an option and the other side is unknown, either way is a risk. It's time to open our hearts, our minds and dive in. I feel strangely hopeful. The forgotten pandemics of the 21st century are already here and they're even more threatening than a virus. We know the vast majority of COVID deaths, perhaps 94% of the deaths were accompanied by other serious medical conditions. What are these comorbidities, the other diseases that doctors reported as contributing causes of death. These growing health trends bring suffering and death for billions every year, far more than any virus. And they are our own doing. Are we helpless in the face of all this suffering and death? Not at all. You are always the master of your own mind and your actions. My favorite quote of the day is this, Everything comes from your thoughts, led and controlled by the mind. Do you know where it's from? Yes, it's from the Buddha. To move into the new times, we are going to have to eradicate these growing pandemics. Can we do it? Certainly. Do we care enough about our children to change our habits? Yes, that is the issue on the table today. Fasten your seatbelts. The number one forgotten pandemic is low nutrient food and poor soil causing low immunity in 7.5 billion people, everyone on earth. A recent groundbreaking study compared original sprouted wheat and red rice grown in virgin soil to their modern industrial counterparts of white flour and white rice. They found a shocking loss of 70% to 90% in essential vitamins and minerals. Interestingly, the missing nutrients match up to be the specific solutions to low immunity and to eradicate our top diseases, which happen to be the COVID comorbidities. But, oh dear, these empty foods include some of our favorite comfort foods like pasta and bread, noodles, rice, potatoes, crackers, cupcakes, and snacks that are stealing our energy. Pandemic number one is inviting us to care for the earth and to care for our soil. The soil connects our physical life to the earth we love. So the solutions to pandemic number one, low nutrients, low immunity, is to eat original food grown in untainted soil. If we can do that, everything else falls into place. Nutritional deficiencies are now a huge epidemic in all countries. Wheat and rice were once rich in nutrients, mankind's primary food for almost everyone. Prehistoric wheat once grew wild like einkorn. Hunter-gatherer tribes sprouted the grain stone ground it by hand and baked it in rock ovens. Boy, was it loaded with nutrients. 
but modern wheat and rice have lost over 70% of their original nutrients. Through the centuries now, we're down to one standard, modern, genetically manipulated dwarf wheat, high in gluten, easily harvested with glyphosate, crushed with high heat rollers that destroy nutrients. We remove the nutritious outer layers of the seed. The new flour is quick to harvest, easy to ship, lasts forever, but sadly empty of flavor and nutrients. Freshly ground flour lasts only two weeks before it becomes rancid and harmful. That is why I do not eat any kind of flour. DNA studies suggest that 10,000 years ago before the advent of farming, all rice was dark red in color. Eventually, we developed hulling machines, which polished the rice until it was shiny and white. Every grain has four primary parts, the hull, the bran, the sperm, and the white endosperm inside. When we remove the outer hull, bran, and germ under high heat, we lose over 70% of the nutrients, leaving only the starchy white endosperm inside. Soon we had fluffy white flour and shiny white rice all over the world. Everyone loved the clean white look, but there were three unseen trade-offs. One, processing grains at high heat destroyed almost all their nutrients, so you might need to eat more and more. Two, the clean white grains were high glycemic, meaning high in sugar. As simple carbohydrates, they turned into sugar raised blood sugar very quickly, and the sugar rush caused body acidity and free radical DNA damage, an invitation to disease. Three, the new grains were soft, low in fiber, and could cause buildup that clogs the intestines and makes you fat. Fiber is your friend. It facilitates good digestion and keeps your insides clean. So, all this was very different from old-fashioned, unprocessed grains that gave no sugar rush, satisfied hunger for many hours, and the fiber left your guts squeaky clean inside. Whole wheat flour is vastly more nutritious than white flour. Could this explain the rise in diabetes and other sugar diseases? Now, about 470 million people worldwide suffer from diabetes. For example, this is a list of nutrients higher in whole wheat that get stripped away in white flour. Are these our missing nutrients? Everyone knows whole grains are more nutritious. However, full absorption is another question, and this depends on two important factors. One, soaking. It is necessary to soak whole grains and beans 12 to 24 hours to remove indigestible seed coatings known as phytates. These are natural chemicals in seeds that irritate the sensitive intestines. Soak, rinse well, drain, and cook. Two, we need to boil whole grains and beans a little longer as whole foods re may require more cooking. Too much heat kills food. Cooking just right makes it more bioavailable and that's good for health. Notice that over 70% of nutrients are lost in white rice. Every year, vast farm acres are sprayed with industrial chemicals. When we poison our soil, we lose nutrients. We poison our water, it affects all life forms from, from insects to humans, birds and plants. Our human microbiome is damaged. Could our widespread gluten intolerance be simply an intolerance to industrial food? Pizza tastes fantastic, even addictive. Nowadays, all our crops are far lower in nutrients than the same foods 50 or 100 years ago. Wheat, tomatoes, milk, oils, olives, veggies, all lower. Is there any real food here? And here's where the story gets very strange. The nutrients lost are known to be key in preventing certain diseases. These are the top killers that we see on the rise. 
I wonder, do our growing pandemics have anything to do with the nutrients we strip away? Empty food causes low immunity and disease. A few generations ago, these diseases were unknown. Could these missing nutrients be at the root of the forgotten pandemics, the comorbidities of COVID-19? Healthy immune function depends on balanced nutrition. A low nutrient diet gives you poor immunity and you're a walking invitation to COVID-19. Mary's Gone Crackers always uses certified organic whole food ingredients free of gluten, but they're made with unsoaked, hard to digest brown rice ground and baked at high temperatures. Their nutrition is lost like so many other rice crackers. And this is a serious problem for Japan's 10 million diabetics. When you shop, what motivates your grocery choices? Is it desire? Is it a memory of flavor? Is it knowledge? Color? What guides you to put that into your cart? So how do we eradicate pandemic number one? Low nutrients, low immunity? Spend more money on food and eat less. Better yet, plant an organic garden and eat for free. Eat clean, fresh, local, whole, unprocessed, organic, untainted foods. Soak whole grains and boil them longer. Forget packaged industrial foods. Use low temperature cooking to retain nutrients. Heat destroys nutrients. Raw foods are high in nutrients, but high temperature destroys nutrients like deep frying, pan frying, grilling, microwave, and baking. Low temperatures like steaming and boiling can never exceed 212 degrees, which retains more nutrients. And that brings us to our next video. Please join us for the second pandemic to eradicate hypertension.